Hi, well, good morning, magandang umaga, and for those of you in Japan, Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> uh, today is Saturday, and uh, our friend Yuriko over here, she is going on a trip to Takaitai, where we did our Christmas uh, celebration, and we're going to drop her off close to Takaitai. She's meeting up with one of her friends, and uh, then Ness and I are going to go do a little bit of shopping, but the big thing that we're going to do today hopefully is pick up that table uh, that uh, manufactured or um, custom built table that's going to look like a tree, tree? I think it looks like a, a tree table. and we're going to we're going to see how that fits up on the second floor lanai on the back of the master bedroom so anyway we before we start today and go in today's episode we have a real short it's a uh, uh, basically like a hello sure, to some of Yuriko and Nessa's friends back in Japan. So go ahead. Hi, Don Yuriko no minasan. O hisashibuli, ima nanto watashi wa Neishi no Philippine no otaku ni ojama shite masu. Totte mo seki na otaku. Zehi minasan mo kite kudasai to Neishi James itte masu. Dewa futari kara aishatsu ga arimasu. Kite kudasai. <laughs> Hello, Dongariko members! I miss you all! Please come and visit me anytime you want. Please, please, you'll enjoy Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to pretend that I understood any any of the words that Yuriko said of here just a minute ago, but probably has a little to do with what Ness said, maybe a little bit, a little, a bit, little, bit. A little bit. So <laughs> that being said, we're going to go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. underway. <laughs> Now, before we go on our trip today to Tagaytay or towards Tagaytay, uh, I just want to show you what I did yesterday. I did do a little bit of work while Ness was downtown doing some shopping. So let's just look inside the master bath here. And I did get the threshold installed. It's all waterproofed, it's all secured down, and the next thing I have to do is I have to put some grout. The same grout that we used on the travertine and the wall tile, we are going to put uh, just a small amount in the front and the sides uh, and the back, all the way around it, and then we'll waterproof it with the little waterproofing compound that you put on with a brush, and then this task will be done. That will be done out of the way. Then the next task I think I'm gonna work on is possibly work on either some of the wood doors inside here, we're finished the tiling that had to be removed for the water leak that we had back uh, underneath the sink. Uh, so those will be the next two things, but not today. They will not get done today. They will get done mm, next week, since this is Saturday. Uh, Sunday we have an elect our electrician. Do you remember our electrician, Noel? Noel will be stopping by tomorrow and he will be putting the meter base on our electric meter directly in front of our house so that bottleneck can come out possibly the week after and move my meter one more time and instead of it being 300 plus meters down the road and then they moved it to within about 15 meters from the front of the house the next step is to get it directly in front of the house but i have to get that meter base installed first well anyway that's about it for around the house for right now i think the rest of the day is going to be road trip uh, so let's go ahead and prepare for that. Uh, get on the road, drop your eco off, and uh, go do a little bit of shopping.
Hey, we, we made it here where we were supposed to be dropping off Yuriko, but her, her sponsor, her friend, is not here yet. So we're going to stop here at McDonald's, grab a bite to eat. And what's kind of neat about the Vista Mall uh, is right next door to it, they have an all home. Remember, all home is where we picked up that nice table and a set of chairs uh, for the breakfast bar upstairs in the master bedroom. So what we're going to do, we're going to take advantage of the time here we're going to stop and we're going to run inside and see if they have any other items inside there that might be of interest. Uh, but we're on a time crunch right now. We also have to go, remember, to Kalama Laguna uh, for the, uh, the table that we have to pick up over there as well. Uh, so if we have time, we're going to do some shopping here. We'll take you along with us for the shopping trip. And then we'll head uh, to go pick up our table that we uh, were one day late picking up anyway. But well, here we are at All Home. All Home is located right next to the McDonald's and the Vista Mall where we're dropping off our guests for today. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna look at some home decorating items. Uh, we still need a uh, table for out on the patio by the barbecue. Uh, remember, we're picking up a table today and the table we're picking up today uh, is for the lanai on the second floor. Uh, but we want to look for something that's more like that has benches and uh, like an outdoor picnic kind of area. Uh, so we'll see. We'll go in today and I'll help and we'll see if they have what we're looking for. Well, we're here inside All Home. This is a huge All Home. This is the biggest All Home that, that I've had an opportunity to be in, but I've only been in one other one. And that was in <laughs> Star Mall in uh, Manila. But yeah. this is actually a huge facility with lots, of, a huge building with lots and lots of furniture. Home improvement. It's, it's sort of like on the first floor. It's sort of like a Wilcon. So uh, we're going to look at, at some of the furniture up here on the second floor. I like this style. So we walk to, it, it's almost where you walk into the mall entrance and they have this really neat table. We need a table and chairs to have breakfast out on the barbecue grill, uh, lanai area, the patio area. And, and look at this, I think this will fit the bill. I think this will work perfectly. Okay, now while they are wrapping up the table, uh, I thought they had it in stock. They said they had it in stock, but I think what they had in stock was the display item only, which most of the time is the case that I find out here in the Philippines. Uh, but I inspected it. There's no scratches or damage or anything to that. So we're going to take that one. Well, again, while they are doing the wrap up uh, for loading into the back of the vehicle, Ness is looking for a couple of vases that she wants to put. Remember the glass nook in the shower that we built? Uh, inside the granite, the granite frame. Well, now we want something to go inside, something that's decorative to go inside. So Ness picked a couple of these vases out. And what she's looking for now, she's looking over here in the flower section. She wants to get a couple of small flowers to go in both of the vases. So let's see what she picks out. <laughs>
Well, anyway, we are gonna have to come back. We don't have time to do shopping here today. We haven't even gone in the mall <laughs> except for to go to the ATM to pay uh, for this unexpected purchase of this table and, ch and chairs. Uh, we will come back. This is a wonderful mall here. And just remember, this mall is in Santa Rosa. Uh, it is called Vista Mall. Uh, it's on the main street. If you pass Wilcon, you've been with me many times uh, as, as I've traveled to Wilcon. Uh, so, remember, Wilcon and right across the street from it is uh, CW Home Depot. So here, uh, they, they have a little bit, it's like one-stop shopping in this one store. It's like a CW, a Home Depot, and an all-home for the furniture and decorating options. Again, right next door is the mall. Walk through the doors and you're inside Vista Mall. I think it used to be called Star Mall because when I looked on the Google Maps, I couldn't find Vista Mall, but I found Star and it's in the same location. So I think it's a, a, a paste over, a new, uh, a new title, a new name of, of the mall. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and pay for it. We will be back here. We will do a full review of Vista Mall on an upcoming episode. Okay, we have the furniture loaded in the back of the truck. Hopefully we'll be able to fit the furniture that we have in here right now with the furniture that we're getting ready to pick up in Calamba uh, Laguna. Uh, so uh, we might have to shift some stuff around, but I think we'll make it work. We made many things work that I didn't think were going to work in the past. Uh, so let's get back on the road. We have just enough time to stop by uh, the garden shop and pick up that table. Okay, well here we are in Laguna, uh, Calamba specifically, it's Calamba Laguna, and <laughs> I don't know what happened, but our table is not, it, it hasn't been built. So uh, we also have to get some pots. So what we're going to do today, we are going to pick up four pots, uh, remember two for the front gate, the walkway through the front gate, and two for some palms that we'll put on Mm, one of the patios so because mm, that's what I have left over for plants right now uh, what I asked uh, the young lady here who does the pottery uh, I wanted to get the same really dark color really dark brown so she's going to take the terracotta color and she's gonna paint directly right over it and she's gonna get the same color that we had last time so that's what we're gonna do we're standing by waiting on that and while that's being done We'll kind of walk around a little bit to see if there's anything else that uh, is, is interesting that we might want to take home with us. Now, while we're waiting on our pots to be painted over in the other garden shop, um, uh, my mind never stops. I'm always forward thinking of another project later on. So I, this is, this is the, the shop right here, well behind us over here. This is the shop we bought all those palms from last week. And I was asking questions about, the, about pond plants because next, uh, next year, next year or when I come back at the end of the summer, I'm really not sure the exact date. Remember we're going to be doing the koi pond at Villa Feliz. So I need to uh, think about, now I need to be thinking about, well, I don't need to think about it right now, but I'd like to think about it right now, about what plants that we might use for decorating around uh, the pond. 
And they have some water lilies here. They also have this neat plant here called horsetail. It sort of it sort of looks like bamboo without any leaves, but it would do really good in a wet environment. Uh, they also sell fern. They have ferns at the back back here, uh, and the ferns will do really well in a shaded or semi-shaded environment and work really nice. Like if you have a waterfall feature and you put in some of the crevices inside a waterfall. So these are things. So I know next year or this year, whenever we do the project, I, I know a place to pick up a lot of the good uh, supplies, the, the uh, plants for the pond. Also something else we're looking at today is something to fight off some mosquitoes because remember dusk and dawn there's mosquitoes and the mosquitoes we have aren't really that bad out in the area we're at because remember we're at a higher elevation and the mosquitoes like low-lying water settling areas uh, like uh, the bottom of a ravine or the bottom of a subdivision that doesn't have good water uh, evacuation uh, but we do have a small amount near the kind uh, the mosquitoes that we have are the mosquitoes uh, almost what we call in the U.S. We call them noceums because they come and they attack you. Noceums is more like a gnat in the U.S. Uh, in Charleston. Uh, but they have they come and they attack you. You never see them. You don't even feel them biting you. Then you go inside the house and you have a mosquito bite. Now what they have here, they have some citronella plants. So here are the citronella plants that they have right here. Uh, and this garden center right here sells these for three for 100 pesos. Uh, you can bunch them up inside of a pot. Put them on your patio, and then the, these help uh, keep the uh, the mosquitoes away. Which is why a lot of times you can burn a citronella candle. You can even burn these little pieces of the brown. It looks like the dead part of the citronella, and they'll make a, a little bit of a smoke that will help keep the uh, mosquitoes away. So I think what we're going to do. I think we're going to bring a few of these back. But if we bring a few of these back, it means we have to get more One pot. pots. Well. Uh, One pots? <laughs> so also over here, uh, kind of where we're buying the citronella, the citronella is actually in the lot next door over here, uh, the lot where we bought the, uh, the garden center where we purchased all of the, the palms last week, they sell these smaller pots right here. And, oh, they also have these up here. Yeah, and that's just pointed to these colored ones up here. But well, we're going we're gonna to make a decision. We're, gonna, we're going to get three pots, put three of the citronella in each one of the pots. So we need three. We have nine of the citronella here that we're picking up. And we'll probably put them on the back patio uh, so to help ward off some of the mosquitoes. Yeah. Now what you're looking at right here is a plant called bottle brush. Uh, that's what it was explained to me, bottle brush, and it's also explained to me that this has a lot of the same characteristics as citronella does for warding off mosquitoes. Uh, uh, I like this as a bedding. I think this will work as a good with the bedding plant for the new garden that has the bonsai style bushes opposite Ness's uh, Zen garden. Uh, we still need some more fill. I wasn't planning on buying plants today, but uh, the, 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 this young lady here is so persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so and, and and we don't really have a bad problem with with mosquitoes but sh she is just such a good salesperson we're gonna go ahead and pick these up as well <laughs> so anyway, if you are if you're shopping for plants, uh, whether they be ornamental uh, and other types, of, they, there is even some fruits and and some herbs and things in this area right here. But this this place right here, Rea and Risha uh, Garden, that's where we're picking up these uh, the citronella and the, the bottle brush plants uh, today. So if you're in this area, and she had and this, that was Rea by the by by the way, who uh, was that great salesperson. Uh, but she has a vast assortment, a vast assortment of very healthy plants uh, and, and garden uh, supplies over here as well, uh, including all these pots here as well. So uh, we're going to go over, I'm sure the other pots are ready, they're probably painted, dried, we'll go ahead and pay for those, and then we're going to come back over here and we're going to pick these up.
Okay, well that's about it. That's about it for today. Uh, not as much inside the back of the truck as we did the last time we were here. Uh, but uh, a good score today for the things that we need. And remember, one of my tips that I always say, if you see something and you like it, and but you, you, you go through that series inside your mind where you think, well, I'll go home and I'll sleep on it a little bit. No. And then if I like it, I'll go back and get it later on. It's gone. It's gone. And it usually is gone. or It's either gone or it says reserved for somebody else, sold. So if you see something that you like and, and you have a pretty good feeling about it, my get recommendation it. is to go ahead and get it. What I want to do before we close, we're going to close from the garden shop here today because our next stop from here is back to the house, back to Villa Feliz. We'll unload and then we'll relax for the evening. But one comment that I think both Ness and I want to say to many of you is we want to thank you so much from the bottom <laughs> of our hearts. All those great comments about the music that we played at the end of our last episode. Uh, <laughs> it was It's a tough thing. It's a tough thing to share uh, a, 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 an intimate an intimate minute an intimate moment uh, where you include your mistakes and things like that but we thought it would be more personal if you saw if you saw what we actually do uh, when we get together and we're inspired by each other's uh, uh, love for music and our passion for music and and our passion for working together uh, and which is what we were doing that night we were having a good time it, we were reliving old days I, w I guess you have to say from when we used to be on the music scene now that being said many of you have asked for more music and uh, <laughs> if that if that seems to be the consensus we will we'll try to provide but what we'll try to do at some point we'll try to provide some original music instead of music that was done or covered by uh, other bands uh, so we'll try to do that but we will we will definitely include it from time to time maybe we'll do like we did in the last episode and after the ending credits maybe we'll put a little bit after the ending credits <laughs> like that uh, uh, you, you have to watch it all the way through you got don't don't stop watching at the credits because you never know because we put some bloopers at the end of credits at sometimes <laughs> and uh, we put some interesting stuff well, I think it's interesting uh, uh, some fun stuff at the end of the episode so make sure you don't skip the uh, the end of my PI dream for that last little segment inside there uh, that being said we want to thank you all again from the bottom of heart for all the nice and wonderful comments we're, in, we're not professionals anymore as a matter of fact we haven't played for quite a long time yeah but uh, but, but we, we love are music we play we always play together uh, during our uh, relaxing moments <laughs> so we will we will try to share those moments again with you and who knows if we can find some good talented musicians uh, and there's probably a lot of them because the Philippines is full of talented musicians uh, we need both, a drummer uh, uh, yeah, we're, so we're, we're, we're looking <laughs> for a drummer we're looking for another guitar player and we're looking for possibly a keyboard player <laughs> and if we can put together something uh, we might have a venue enough to where we'll play for the local communities and maybe some places around Lipa who knows we've done it in no. the past <laughs> we've done it in the past we can put it together again well let me go ahead and close I've kind of babbled on enough right here again thank you very much uh, so if you enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs up Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. <laughs> uh, you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.